YouTube, been a while. I keep getting asked for updates on the AliExpress knockoff cheap exhaust. Um, I don't know what really to say on an update. I've had it, I don't know, however many miles now. Probably put maybe 2,000 miles on it. And uh, no complaints. I absolutely love it. Um, I painted these black, if you remember. They're holding up perfect. No issues there. I painted these, made these grills on here. And the exhaust is kind of discoloring that, but that's really the only problems. Um, and that was from my own doing, of course. The only thing that happened to this bike, as long as I've had it, I was riding it, and the exhaust started getting louder and louder and louder. Oh, I thought you could see it from down here, but you can't, can you? If I stick it in there. But the O2 center, O2 center, O2 sensor on the right side. Um, dang, I thought you could see it. You sure can't. Sorry about that. But anyway, the O2 se sensor on the right side popped out. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? And um, all it was was from the manufacturer, there's like a little adapter because it uses like a small O-ring. And the hole was for a big O-ring. And they put a little adapter from the small or the big one to the small. And that was stripped out from the factory. So that over time just popped out. So I had to buy a new adapter. It was real cheap. And I, oh, it's right here. Excellent. Here it is. It just, this little adapter stripped out, as you can see. And so this whole thing just popped out with the O2 sensor. So I had to spend like eight bucks to get a new one of these and just screw it in, screw that in. And it wasn't cross-threaded. And that was literally the only problem I've had with this exhaust. Definitely worth the buy. Um, you guys asked for some more sound clips and stuff. I don't really have like a GoPro mount or anything, so I will attempt to do it. I don't know how it's going to sound though, but what I'm going to do is this is my phone. So I'll just sit on my phone mount right here and I'll ride around like that, let you know if that works or whatnot. That'll be in this video later. But I also ordered this guy from AliExpress. They call it um, a shifter stabilizer. And uh, supposedly it just goes over this whole thing right here. And it um, is both there, I guess. Let me open it up. There we go. This is it. It's made out of aluminum, it feels like. But you just slide it over this. Take that off, slide on there, and I guess I can tell them with that bolt. Not really sure how. Hmm. If it's right there, maybe it'll work. Weird. But what it's supposed to do is it, I guess they're saying that when you shift, this little bit of play right there can affect your shifting. And this is supposed to make it way feel way more tighter and more new premium i don't really see how it's gonna do that i'm skeptical but one of the guys on the aprilia groups said it was a game changer and made shifting so much easier i never had a problem shifting the spike whatsoever it's been flawless i've gotten a few one to neutrals but i mean that's just me being lazy not lifting my foot up all the way you know but they say it helps with everything so i'm gonna put that on and i'll give you a little review on that along with the sound clip and i think this is supposed to be loose people I always complain about this being loose i think it's supposed to be anyway i will uh, check back in when i figure that out and then we'll go for all right i'm back <laughs> this is just one bolt to take off and so i'll sit there trying to figure out where this goes but there's already a hole there for it weird it's like it's meant to be and it comes with that bolt so you just put it over there and it just goes like that. Just, that's all it does, it gets rid of that little gap. So put it over it. Now you don't have that gap and supposedly it can't flex because that's in the way. There's a little Allen nut on there too. Maybe to tighten it there also, I don't know. Very skeptical. I don't see how this will help, but I'll let you know. 
So just put the bolt in there. Then we'll put the linkage back on. Oh, I should have marked where it was. I made a mistake. Oh, I guess it doesn't really. Oh yeah, it could go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. I made a mistake, folks. Had to figure that out. Probably should have marked it first. Cause I could go here. Oh man. Oh man. Oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. It is on. I looked at my video. I was at a 90 in my last video, so hopefully that's good. I mean, it's shifting, so should be all right. So there it is installed. Um, really, really easy. There is a spot for it, like I said. You can see the bolt back there. It's a pain in the ass to um, get an uh, Allen wrench on it, but I got it tight. And then make sure I put this wire over it. It would have probably fit underneath, but I didn't want to risk it. It looked kind of tight, so I just left it. Yeah, and then there was a, another really small Allen down here I tightened, so it don't move, I guess. It's solid. And pretend that good, it's still loose, but you can't pull it off. So, I mean, that's all that bolt does. A lot of people see it, say that in the videos. They're like, uh-oh. I think it's meant to move, like it's supposed to. I don't know. But it doesn't come out. You take out that bolt, it pops right out. So we're good. So next video will be when I write it. out a little bit i don't know if it will or not <laughs> um but yeah i love the exhaust it sounds great at the very end of the video is the only time i got on it and i redlined first but the rest of the time i was just cruising i was just driving to a friend's house um but other than that this guy right here i feel like i may have noticed something i really do i, I don't know why a placebo effect or something but it seems like there's like a shock to it now. Like, like shock isn't like almost assisted. It's hard to explain. It, it feels 
like easier to move, but I, I think I'm just my head. I, I don't know if it really is or not. Like, but I keep moving this around because I'm not happy where the, but this is now. I don't remember where it was exactly. So I keep adjusting that. Right now I have a think about right. It's a little in more than a complete L. It's hard to tell. But is this worth buying? Well, it was another AliExpress buy. I think it was 60 bucks, 50 or 60 bucks. And I wouldn't buy it for the feel because I really don't think you notice it. I, I think it might just be in my head. I don't know. But you buy it because that shaft does flex. And so really this is just saving maintenance and everything else because there's an O-ring in there. And with it moving around, that O-ring could get bad and it could start leaking. So there is a plus to having that other than just people saying it feels better. I still did a one to neutral while I was quick shifting. I mean, so it didn't help anything like that. You know, just me being lazy. But yeah, hope that video helped. I wish you guys would, you know, I keep getting questions or like, hey, give us an exhaust update. Give us an exhaust update. I don't know what you guys want to know. There's not much to tell. It sounds good. It, I heard a um, MIV, M-I-V-V exhaust the other day in person for the first time and this is way quieter than the MIV. The MIV is definitely way louder but I didn't like how the MIV sounded. It was like it's, it reminded me of a Harley and I don't want my bike to you know people think a Harley's rolling up and then this beautiful Aprilia shows up you know. So I don't know. I, I think I would, right, as of right now this is the exhaust I would prefer to buy. This would be it. Um, there's some other company that just came out with my camera, what their name is, but I don't know much about it, but AliExpress seems like the win, man. It's, it's not too loud. It's deeper than the, the, it's like deeper and cleaner. The, the MIV made it sound like loose. I don't know how to explain Like, you know, a Harley sounds like a loose cheek fart. This is more of a tight cheek fart. <laughs> uh, all right, well, please make a comment of what you want me to answer on the video because I have no idea. See you.